so most of the days out what we have in the hills it's just a great enjoyable experience and we all come back safe but there's um unfortunately sometimes when things could go wrong and it could be something completely outside your control or it could be somebody that you come across who actually needs help and and if you can self-help and get off the mountain then that's obviously the correct thing to do but if the situation that you come across or find yourself in is serious and you're unable to get yourself off the hill uh, then you probably need to look at calling for professional help. And uh, here in the UK, we're really um, in a very lucky position. We have um, volunteer mountain rescue teams who literally cover every inch of the UK. Here in Scotland, we've got uh, 27 teams cover different geographical areas. And uh, if you can't get yourself down, then it's the volunteer mountain rescue teams who are going to come out and assist you. Or possibly, if the, if the situation dictates, it might actually be uh, helicopter support that comes out to help you. So being able to communicate with the outside world when you're out on your mountain adventures is, is really important. And back in the day, that might have been getting down to the nearest habitation or the nearest uh, phone box. But with modern technology, it's likely that you're probably carrying something with you that you're going to be able to communicate with, like, for example, your mobile phone. And mobile phones need line of sight to a transmitter. So if you've got a line of sight down to a Glen, then it's likely to work and you'll have some sort of communication. But be aware that it might be that actually if you went a bit higher up the mountain, then you might get good reception. So consider going up if you're able to, to get reception if you don't have it immediately. So if you've got reception and you can make a voice call, then you're dialing 999, or 112 which is the European wide emergency number and uh, you're asking for police and most importantly mountain rescue as well because there's been a number of incidents where people haven't explained clearly that they're away from the road and the emergency services who perhaps are being coordinated from a control centre way down south somewhere haven't appreciated that you're in a remote location so it's really important police then mountain rescue. If you're unable to make that voice call, then you can um, ask for help through the emergency SMS texting service, but you do need to have your phone registered to do that. It's free of charge, and you literally just send the word register to 999, and you'll get a response via text, which you need to read and then respond to. And then your phone's registered in the event that you need to um, call emergency services through that texting service when you haven't got enough reception to make a voice call. And there's some very important information you need to send. And, and one of them is your location. And best to do that through a six figure grid reference. And there's a really useful free app called OS Locate, which will give you your grid reference down to 100 meter square. And it will operate through the GPS on your phone rather than needing the uh, mobile phone signal. And you can in fact send that direct to the emergency services. And the emergency services may well send you a link, which is called a SARLOC link, which is search and rescue location, SARLOC. And uh, they will then be able to identify where this handheld unit is. Now, modern technology has its limitations. You may have no reception at all, and we'll move on to that shortly. But also in a winter environment, it might be really difficult to oper operate a touchscreen phone. So I actually carry in winter the cheapest chips, pay as you go, like 10 pound phone. You can see I've got it in a waterproof case and it's a good old fashioned kind of Star Trek job. Just press the buttons and I keep that as my emergency phone. I'd never use it for anything other than dialing 999. And because uh, I've found, you know, battery life on my iPhone is pretty poor and operating it in cold conditions with big gloves on is very difficult. But there are times when you're not gonna get a voice call out and you're not gonna get a text out. And if you're in a remote location on your own, having the ability to communicate via satellite technology could literally save your life. And there's various um, 
gadgets that are available to you. One of these is um, a personal locator beacon. This is uh, the one that I carry and this is literally a one hit wonder. If I was in a life threatening situation, I would carry this and if in the event of a life threatening situation I could trigger this, it would work through satellite technology and it would output a signal to Houston in Texas. You register them, you have your next of kin details registered and if it was triggered they would follow up those Cavalry. next of kin details before they started to uh, instigate a rescue. It literally does one thing, it summons the there are other devices available, such as these two, which both are multifunctional. This is a Spot and this is a, a Garmin inReach. And you, you buy them and then have a monthly registration fee. And uh, depending on what you decide to register them for will depend the functionality, whether you can send text messages in and out, etc., or use them as a tracking device, or indeed, in the case of this, using it as a GPS as well. So if you go out alone in remote locations, then it's something I would do some research on and perhaps think about carrying but there's no doubt having the ability to communicate with the outside world in the event of an accident uh, could literally be a lifesaver